Can you tell me a little bit about your work with the Holocaust Museum in D.C.? I got to know a lot of the survivors well, and a lot of the, the stories, and got to see what um, and the people that came and how sometimes it really changed them. I mean, because a lot of people that come through are not Jewish and don't really know a lot about the Holocaust. And it, um, you know, it, hopefully it will continue to kind of prick the conscience of people so that this can't, hopefully it will not happen again. It's certainly not to the extent that it has. Uh, we had one kid that came in, uh, his mother came to the elevator and she burst, uh, she says, I said, we don't have any more admission tickets. She burst out in tears. She says, my son is, is a skinhead and he's 15 or 16 and I really would like to take him through so that um, he could see that there's truth to this. So we made a special arrangement with one of the survivors who had been like 12 or 13 during the war, who took him through when we explained things to him. I don't know how much it helped, but I think that there are many people that did. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a very meaningful place. 